RWBS Coding School is an international and European online live coding school where we help people with no matter background to enter or to start their career in the IT industry. And the cool thing with hybrid is that for 12 weeks they're learning online from wherever they are, could be wherever in Europe. And the last three weeks, that's really special, they're all coming to Berlin. So to our own coding campus, they, have, they don't have to take care of accommodation, of preparing food every day, so they just come here three weeks, enjoy working on their final project, have a good time together and enjoy a lot of activities here in Berlin. And the cool thing is that in this practical period here in Berlin, finally after 12 weeks, they meet each other. Well, the demo day actually is the last day and a really exciting event because um, our students will present their, um, or will present what they have achieved after 15 weeks of hard work. And we invite family and friends, but as well managers who are looking for developers to, to join us and to see what uh, our students have created so far. And the final projects will blow your mind. The vision of our school is that definitely in the future we want to create like a new way of education or a new way how education is done. So we want to enable people, no matter how old they are, to start the career that they would like to have. And that's our vision that basically whenever people are interested in tech education, that we provide the right platform on a European level so they can study together. Great, welcome to the third final demo day at WBS Coding School. Maybe first, yeah, please, how, how do you feel? <laughs> awesome, I'm quite sure the people on stream could hear it. We have quite a lot of viewers just for the audience to know. Um, and also for me, this is all, all Ways the moment that I enjoy the most. Coming here together with the staff, with the students, and really seeing what the students achieve in the very tough 15 weeks. I always enjoy this moment. So here already, you have our respect. We are really looking forward to see your final products today. Um, afterwards, we want to celebrate a bit with you. So really looking forward to that. But of course, work first and celebration after. Um, before we start, I would quickly um, like to introduce everyone who's on stream and who is new to WBS Coding School to explain a bit um, what we are doing, actually. So in 15 weeks, all the students that the people on stream cannot see now, but I can see them, which is pretty cool, they spend 15 weeks of their time to really work hard together. So in 15 weeks, of course, you could do the math, it's 75 days and 600 hours, 36,000 minutes. Maybe let me ask the audience, who of you thinks that you worked way more than 36,000 minutes? <laughs> Maybe just clap who agrees. Okay, so this really speaks for the motivation of our students and of course having this big goal in your mind to become a fully operational developer. Of course, this comes with a lot of work, but of course you will see that this will pay off in the end. And I'm quite sure we will all see this with the projects of our students today. But I would, before I start talking about the school, I would really like to talk about one of the most important people working with this batch. Um, unfortunately, today, Alexander couldn't make it, so greetings to St. Petersburg in the camera. Hopefully you can see us now. Alexander is not with us today, but we have a very smart and very cool replacement. Liv, could you please join me? Of course. I just hope I can live up to that intro. <laughs> I think you can, I'm quite sure. Liv, maybe tell me today on the last day, how do you feel? I am stupidly excited. <laughs> I mean, I think everyone has seen it to me today and it's probably quite evident right now, but I am, I'm like really, really excited on everyone's behalf. It's amazing to be here. <laughs> Trust me, we are all super excited. I would have one specific question since you really spend a lot of time with the students, really a lot of time. What are you proud of? Do I have to choose one thing? <laughs> 
I'm I can I can live with five. Okay, okay. Uh, I could talk forever because you have been absolutely amazing and I have been honored to see this whole process. But I'm going to stick with two things. One is, I mean, it's obviously the projects and I promise you they will speak for themselves very soon. But when you also know that apart from just looking absolutely amazing, that a mere three weeks ago, these projects were pure ideas. They nothing existed. They came from something, an idea someone had, and came into something absolutely amazing that you'll see very shortly. But the other thing that I am extremely impressed with, and yeah, honestly, a bit proud, I know it's not my achievement, it's yours, but the teamwork and the support that we've seen here. Like the students, as you say, you have been working so hard, and you have to, to achieve the results we'll see soon, but to see the support that you have all given each other, both in the technical fields, but also when it comes to just the mental support that it is to go through this. It's been amazing to see you all. So yeah, I'm really proud to have been part of, or at least on the sideline, helping you, supporting you. Liv, yeah. thank you so much. I can oh. only agree. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Now, you might ask yourself, especially, or probably only the people on stream, but what did they do for 15 weeks? I mean, let me quickly explain. So, probably you are watching this stream because you would like to understand or you would like to learn more about changing your career, what can I do with my, w in my professional life. So, probably you are one of the people, hey, there's this product idea and I would like to implement, I would like to make a business out of it, but I have no idea how to develop it myself. So probably you're one of these people who would like to learn coding. Could be. Or you have worked for some years. You work with software development teams as, for example, as an IT project manager or as a product manager, and you always liked what they are working on. So you also wanted to become a developer. This could be another reason why you're sitting here today. Or I can relate to that. When growing up, you always had a PC, you were always playing with it, maybe try to build some websites at around 1998, 2000. You tried with HTML, CSS a bit, of course the internet was a bit different, but you didn't make a career out of it. So I'm quite sure that also a lot of people can relate to that. So probably you are today on stream and you, um, I'm somehow, or somehow you can relate to this story. So what are we doing with you? At WBS Coding School, we are supporting you to turn into a fully operational web and app developer. So in our web and app development course for 12 weeks, and that's the special thing in our hybrid model, you're learning 12 weeks from home mostly. Most of the students, of course, are joining from home, learning about the programming languages. Of course, in order to become a web and app development um, or web and app developer, you would like to learn about the coding languages. So what is HTML? What is CSS? I'm quite sure in the audience, some of you never heard about React before, but you learned it. Now you can code with it. Of course, you will learn way more in your future career, but you have a very good foundation, trust us. So in the 12 weeks, you build up a lot of knowledge about programming languages, tools. You will learn how to deploy your software so that people in the internet can actually see it, so it's not only running on your local machine. You want to share your product. And that's what you learn within the first 12 weeks. And then what is really cool and what I really like, after 12 weeks learning in your city at home, you will meet all the other students on campus in Berlin. So the purpose coming here in Berlin, of course, is finally you're seeing each other, you are working together on your final project, you're learning with each other. Um, of course, you can enjoy Berlin as a tech and startup city, you can explore the city um, and just have a good time together. And of course, working three weeks together on your final project is really giving you this immersion of really working on something that has a purpose. Because it's your idea and you turn your idea into practice. So that's going on on our wonderful campus in Berlin. Talking about the campus, of course, once you are joining us and once you are 12 weeks learning with us at home, you will be joining us in Berlin. So our campus has um, a lot of very unique things to offer. So of course, why is there a campus? Because you can just come to Berlin, live here, with, live here on the campus with us, 
have the food prepared, three meals a day, and you don't really have to worry about anything. No matter from where you're joining us, you're just coming here. You don't have to find an Airbnb. You don't have to find a flat for three weeks because we get this done for you. And I would like to quote, I don't know, maybe there's a chance, I don't know if maybe Tessa is today also on stream, but uh, we had a very wonderful student and we thought it's really worth it putting her quote on our presentation. Because what Tessa just said is that the campus life was really awesome, you will only feel it when you're here and campus life is just a bomb and we could really see that um, many, many students agreed to this. And also from what we can see, our students are living together, this is really awesome. So sure you, you should really experience it yourself. And now, I'm really hyped to start seeing the very first products of the day. So. Who of you this year, or maybe starting of next year, um, will leave for vacation and would like to travel? Anyone? Yeah, great. And probably you will travel to a country where you don't really know how to behave. I'm quite sure. But we have a super cool product. And these awesome three students will help you on this journey. So please, welcome. Hi everyone, uh, I'm Tolga, I'm from Turkey, uh, I'm living now in Berlin, I'm also a the senior designer, sorry I'm a little bit nervous, actually yesterday I was better, <laughs> today a little bit excited, uh, so tonight I will be one, uh, behind the scene in, uh, in, in charge of displaying the website and according to uh, what my colleagues explain. Hey, um, I'm Lucas. I'm half Chilean, half German. And before I worked as um, every type of jobs, you know, from plumbing to sales, and I really wanted to use my brain power and release my creativity. So that's how I landed here. Hi, I'm Hannah, and um, I'm a linguist. I have worked in research at university. And I came to a point where I wanted to get out of academia and solve practical everyday life problems with coding. So here I am. Good, and we decided, the three of us, to work in a group because we had an assignment together before and we had a really good chemistry and we could complement each other with the skills we had achieved before in our careers. So yeah, we said, why not? Let's take the challenge and like work it like in real life in teams, you know? and get the communication going and splitting the tasks. So really happy with it, with what we did. So we're not only a team of people from different professional backgrounds, we're also from different cultural backgrounds. And um, all of us, like probably most of you, had that weird experience when you go to another country and you don't really know what is the proper way of doing things. How, for example, how should you greet people um, or how much should you tip the waiter in a restaurant? So um, Lucas has an interesting experience like that. Yeah, so I came to Germany around, I would say, seven years ago. So you can imagine, young South American boy. I met some girls. We wanted to go for a drink in the night. You know, oh, let's go for some tequila, you know, something like that. And we meet later. I'm coming all confident, you know, like, hola chicas, you know. And I'm rushing up to give the kiss on the cheek like we do. And whoa, 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 like, hold on. And whoa, that was so awkward. So, yeah. Lucas had that interesting experience in private life. Um, imagine what it is like in business life. How many more pitfalls to avoid. And also nowadays, due, due to COVID-19, many more questions come up, like um, what country can you go to at all? And what are the regulations there? Should you wear a face mask and where to wear the face mask? And we have got a solution for all of that problems. Etiquette. Etiquette is a modern search engine that provides you with information um, on the proper behavior, proper way to do things in the different cultures. And um, our information is not only based on um, the opinion of country experts, 
but also on the um, on government regulations where it is necessary. So here you land on the landing page where you can find a search bar, but you can also um, just at first satisfy your curiosity and click on the button, are you curious? Yeah, so we could see, for example, if we were to make country to South America, you could discover, for example, just a random fact that we received the bill already with the tip calculated and you can decide whether or not to pay the bill. So don't over tip when you go there, you know. And you're also interested in information about Russia, maybe discover a fact about Russia. And you can find that in Russia, you can joke about almost any topic, but never about someone's mother or father. Don't do that. The fun definitely stops there. But now you're really curious, you want to know more about Russia. So you click on the link that leads you to that particular country page. Um, and you land on um, first the do's and don'ts of Russia in this case, where you just get um, the most crucial facts, pitfalls to avoid, or yeah, how you should do things. And on the left side, you can browse through different categories. For example, the information on COVID-19 or essentials like the currency and what is the usual way of transportation and so on. And of course, in the meanwhile, we're going to be showing you these beautiful images from the country so that you raise your motivation to visit this place, you know? And by now, you have probably um, discovered the beautiful Get Premium button on the right side corner. And you click on it. Okay, so we get to this very interesting page, you know, looking like business already, some beautiful buildings. And this etiquette premium is the extension of the, the functions we have for free users of etiquette. So this is focused on people who want to make business, let's say, in a certain country, and people who want to learn how to deal better with the customers from, uh, from other countries as well. So if you're planning on moving to a new job, maybe, getting some new international customers, this is where you get you co we get you covered. So yeah, as you can see, we are giving this this um, membership for like um, one payment of 599. And I think for, for showing today, we should really give away a membership, why not? What do you think, Anna? That's a really good idea, Lucas. Yeah, have you got somebody in mind or, mm, I don't know? Well, we checked out the information on Russia, so maybe a person from Russia? We know somebody from Russia, you know? I do know someone, our instructor. Our instructor. So I think we're giving a way membership. You think? It is easy. Yeah, good. We go. So let's register for Alexander. Good, and as you see, you click on this pay now button and we have a high security built-in payment method, which of course we're using with a test card because we cannot be showing a, any credit card here in, in a live demonstration. So yeah, this will allow us to do the payment. So now Alexander is registered, you're welcome. And yeah. Payment was successful, so now we log in with that newly created account. So now you can see you're logged in as Alexander, and um, we w you want to check out uh, some information on some country. Um, let's take Germany, because Alexander is interested in Germany, he wants to do business in Germany, so that's why he got the premium account. And now? Yes, as you can see now, you can discover already that you got these premium buttons on the, um, on the left side. Whoops, what happened there? Yeah, we're back. We get these premium buttons which are signalized with, with the stars, so you get big, extensive articles on how to behave, like with business communication, protocol, and negotiation, so we get you all covered with all the essential things for making business in the country you're going to. Then you go back to the home page and you log out. Yeah. 
And of course, as a user, you also want to know uh, what is the mission of the company? What, what is it based on? So you go to the, our mission page. And here you can um, learn that our mission is based on three basic principles. And you can read a little about them. And then, you, of course, you also want to know who created that, who is behind their project. You go to the about, about Us page. And here you can see our faces. And you can learn um, what brought us together, what was the idea behind it, and read a little information about us. But you, you might have also read something that you don't fully agree on. So you check if you can contact us. And of course you do. We always love to hear from our users and get feedback. So here you can, here you can drop us a line. Good, we also have our address as you see, so it, you will not get lost if you wanna visit us, whatever, or send us a letter. And also I would like to take this opportunity to show a little bit of the responsiveness of this page, that no matter if you do a, um, if you search something in a, in a smartphone or a computer, it will look good and be understandable. You see, we have this beautiful menu as well for mobile devices, yeah. Let's go back to full screen. Good. And yes, last but not least, also, um, the URL cannot be seen right here, like the link you have, to, you have to use to navigate through our website. But you just navigate with the code of your country, like DE in Germany or RU in Russia, so the user could be typing, you know. But in the case that you make a typo, also, and you go to a wrong URL, Exactly, you have a 404 page that, you know, <laughs> as you can see. This is etiquette. Thank yes. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. It was really awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Lucas. Thanks a lot. Great product. I really want to use it. I really want to use it. Tell me when it's released. Thank you. Great. Thank you so much. What a start, wow, I'm really incredible, I really want to use it. Cool, second product, what could it be? I'm also really excited. But probably sometimes, of course, time is running fast, you have many ideas in your mind, but you need a way to organize and probably even to mind map your ideas to have a better, better daily life. And I know one guy in this room who can help us with that. Christian, <laughs> show us more. Hello, my name is Christian. Um, that was gr really a uh, great project we saw, so I'm the next in line, so yeah. Um, a few words about uh, me. Uh, I've done a lot of uh, jobs before in different companies, branches, countries even. So I learned a lot. And me and Paul Wee uh, had some really hard weeks behind us, so we really learned a lot once again uh, for me. So I've got lots of um, input and resources, bookmarks, data, print screens I did with um, at the sniffing tool. So I wanted to have one place uh, with an overview with all the data, all the bookmarks, the links, all the stuff which can, um, yeah, I will grow in the future. So um, yeah, let's start, Miguel. Yeah. So this is the login screen. Uh, the app will be called My Mind, as Tim said. And the styling, as you will see, is very basic. So. Uh, Yeah, first the email. So, a long password, then we log in. Right, so, if you would log into the page for the first time, you would have an empty, empty screen. 
I prepared something so it's not too boring at the beginning. So you see one category, one, one tile, which are called web design, which is suitable for the course. You can see the number two, if you click on the number two, Miga, please. You will see there are two subtopics. One is JavaScript. Click on the three, please, so you will see three topics. Um, they're called front end, back end, and frameworks. If you click on the two, front end, you will see two further subtopics, React, and that's, by the way, all, all the stuff you see here is the, um, uh, the techniques I used for this uh, website. This D3JS is something I will use in the future to make it more modern and to see all the connections, all that stuff. So that's something for the future. So this will grow for sure. If you click on back end, please, you will see two more topics. They will see Strapi, that's, uh, which I used in between for the login and the connection to the database. If you click on database, you will see there's one more topic, which is the database I use, which is MongoDB. And yeah, so it will grow and grow uh, depending on your demands, what you're looking for. If you click on JavaScript, again, you will close the topics. Yes, that's right. Just click on JavaScript, then the edit icons and delete icons should go away. Um, when you click on jobs, that's the next topic. I just choose two, so it's not too full. If you click on the one, you will see the next thing I added, that's a link. So if you click on the link, please, a tab should open where you can see my LinkedIn page, or you should see it. Yeah, it's a bit slow probably, but it's working. So so the idea is really to have a topic, you add in a bookmark, which you want to look at, or which. Anyway, so it's working, <laughs> okay. So click on the button again above my LinkedIn so the three tiles will go away. Or click on web design, then you close all on the, yeah then you close it again. So just to show you what you can do, how it'll work, if there was nothing to start with, just click on the plus, please, on the top left corner. That's what you do when you first see the page, then you just type in a category which you're interested in, which you want to grow and fill with data. Just type a category which you want to enter. Yeah, for instance. Then click on add, and then you will see the tile next to it. Now click on history itself. Then you will see that menu which you saw before. Click on add subnote. And then you can either choose to add another uh, topic or if you click on link, you can enter a link which you saw before. So that's the basic structure at the moment. And that'll grow, like I said before, to add the, um, and the possibility to paste from the clipboard or to upload images and PDFs and all that stuff. So that's it. And you can log out. <laughs> I'm done. Thank you. Christian, thank you. Thank you for this awesome product. Thank you. Take it with you. You really deserve it. Thank you. Thank you, Christian. Thank you. Cheers. Bye. Thank you. So finally, I can organize my life. <laughs> finally. I was just waiting for that. Great. And now, who of you works with just writing down daily notes to get some structure in your daily life? Anyone? Physical notes, mobile app? Yeah, pretty cool. But probably you're missing some features. And now Ines is showing us how she would like to organize her notes. Ines, welcome. Thank you. So hi, I'm Ines. I, um, today I created something that really like was for me really important because it's all about writing. And that's actually what I've done all my life because my head is really full of thoughts, but also because of my background uh, as a copywriting um, and uh, marketing content. So I've decided to, um, to go and to choose this space, this path, sorry, and to create my own um, web app where I can actually take notes. And uh, it was really, really interesting to actually 
code, so to write code, to allow myself to write on something. And that was really a really amazing journey, and I enjoy doing it. So here is the first page, the authenticated uh, authentication page. So if you have an account, you can sign in, but as we just knew here, we're going to register. And all oh right, I think we have the, the wrong version of the web app, which I guess it's okay. So we just put in the information. All right, so now this is where in every new user will land. So there, is, there are two immutable folders with general and trash. So obviously the general is for all the nodes you will be creating, and the trash is trash. <laughs> so we're gonna start by adding a new folder by clicking on the button, put a name, um, coding. Here, so the folder is created, now we can click on it. And Thank you. So I'm sorry for these little things. Actually, I'm updating my, um, my website with a new layout, but it's not appearing here. But I guess it's fine because it's still working, but it's less beautiful. <laughs> so we're just going to click on the icon on top right and create a new node. Here pops uh, a editor. Uh, well, with, uh, we don't see everything, but it's fine. <laughs> We're going to create a new node. Right, and now uh, let's say we're creating a new node again. Okay, so until now we can see that what we're writing is actually preview on the left on the node list and also that actually the app is working because we are able to take notes. So I'm pretty glad of this. <laughs> and now let's say we want to modify. So we just have to click on the notes we want and we can, I don't know, put it header or add a moticone, or make it bold, change everything we want, then everything will be saved and uh, on the data. So, yeah. So now let's say that, uh, well, you actually want to delay it or not because you just write, wrote something you actually disagree now on. So you click on the trash button and then it goes, it's not gone forever, so you can still change your mind, but only once. <laughs> so when you in the trash folder, you can actually like delay it forever here. Exactly. So this is the main features. And I'm really, I'm a bit sad that you don't see the real version because that was really nice. Everything was selected and colored and so on. And now it's a bit, a bit less alive, but it's okay. You can just ask me for the link. And yeah, and now we can just log out. And if we sign in again, with the information that we put previously during the registration, Maybe refresh. Yeah, there is a mistake you put to O's. Yeah. All right. Then that's fine. You're supposed to retrieve all your information. It was working perfectly, but this is the live thing. It's live streamed. It's a bit too bad, but it's okay. So yeah, that's it. Um, I'm glad to have presented you this project. It was really fun to do so, and uh, thank my instructor for helping me out a lot, and some others that were here actually. And it's crazy, like what's code is. Everything seems too easy, but it's not so easy. Just for a button, it's actually like really a lot of lines of coding and just for the new folder was maybe 60 and you think that, I don't know, it's just so interesting to discover and yeah, that was a great experience and I'm really sorry we didn't see the right version. <laughs> Ines, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Applause for Ines. Yeah, awesome. We post the link on Twitch, so you can all access it. Um, I think what's Ine, what what Ines just mentioned was is what what is really relevant at the end of the day, and what all the students I'm quite sure learned after 15 weeks that we now 
all really appreciate a lock in and a lock out button. It looks easy, but trust me, it is not. <laughs> all right. So I'm really looking forward to the next product because one simple question that I would ask you on stream and also in the audience, can you imagine how it looks like to transition from dancing to coding? I can't, but I want to see now how this works. Matja. <laughs> Oh, sorry, sorry, I forgot. I, I'm, I'm used to be on stage, but I never speak. Because as you mentioned, I'm a professional dancer. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> so um, actually, uh, yeah, as I said, I'm a professional dancer, and I decided to dive into coding, and I created this website. So that's it. And so now you're wondering what Mecto is. And I wanted the same, actually. So um, oh, wait, wait, did you see that? Can you do it again? Wow, the magic of CSS. <laughs> okay, so we can proceed. And Mecto is actually a search engine where you can find events. Because how many times, how often did you try to, to find something you want to know, you want to do actually, and you don't really know what to do? So he said, oh, I want to go to the movies. And how many of you have ever thought about going to a theater? Not so many, I think. So when you go to events, then all the events that you can actually find are there. And you might also maybe be interested casual, uh, to ballets, for example. So if you have never seen a ballet in your life, I think you would like to know what they're about. So there you have some little descriptions with also the data where they take place and where they are. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but also, if you already know what you want to do, you can also go on the search button and look for something. Let's say, let's go to the movies again, and let's go maybe to watch The Joker. Okay, so I think I really want to watch that, so let's maybe try to buy tickets for that. And, and you get directed to the website of the UCI, so you can really buy tickets for the show you want to. And let's go back to the website. And yeah, basically that was my website. I didn't know what else to say about it. <laughs> and yeah, so. All right, thank you, Matja. Having a look at the audience and probably trying to look into the minds of everyone watching us today. <laughs> Organizing your life nowadays, when life is so fast, you have so many activities, and you really want to plan your day as efficient as possible. It became really challenging. But now we have one idea that could help all of us to bring some structure into our life. Stefan. Thank you, Tim, for this introduction. So good evening uh, all together. I am Stefan. I live in uh, Leipzig. And yeah, I found my new passion with web and app development. And yes, uh, as Tim mentioned, I developed a to-do app. So some one of you might think, oh no, not another to-do app. And that's the reason why the name of this to-do app is Nanto, not another to-do app. But the to-do app, as you can see here, is a bit different. So let's start with this nice screen here. It's not the home screen. Let's start with the top. Uh, there's a countdown. It counts the seconds from the day. That means we have 17 seconds left till midnight, and this should motivate me or other people to use your seconds or your time in a good way. 
So, let's see what's there. There's five minutes. This is a Pomodoro timer. It's a special uh, time technique uh, where you work 25 minutes really focused and then you can make five minutes break or something other stuff, Facebook, Twitter, what else. So let's start the day with five minutes break. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's it for the moment. We have a look later on the screen. So we now go to the start screen. Let's imagine I wake up a bit late. So I press for myself minus 1% because waking up too late is not good, especially if you have to go to work. Um, but yeah, I made a really great breakfast and so I give myself a plus 0.5%. So what we now see is the chart is changing and at the top uh, we have 0.46% minus. That means at the moment the day is not really good. So let's start the day, work and let's have a look at the to-do list we have in the created. And this is the to-do list. I have three entries there. And one entry I see is red. That indicates, oh, I have to do it because if I do not do it today, then at midnight it counts negative for my value and that's not good. So let's start with this made text report. I want to check mark it. I click on the circle. Yeah. So now we have some other circles. They are not completely filled. That indicates the priority of the to-dos. So the text was really high. The go shopping is not really high, so it doesn't matter. Let's, for example, make a new to-do for today because now it came in my mind I want to call my sister. And family is really important, so it gets eight points. And I can edit, yeah, and there it is. I want to call my sister, I don't forget. Okay, so let's have a look at the other section we have. It's the habit section. And here I see my daily to-dos. Um, I see the status, how it is going. It's the left circle who indicates the strength of the habit. So go early to bed is not really working. Take some air, yeah, it's working. And for today, we see there are three circles not filled. We can press on it and check. Yeah, and here we see this circle is not completely filled because it's two times. I want to go out at air two times a day so I can set how often I want to do it a day. So if I press again, it takes some air. Now it's filled, I can go, yeah, to the other thing. Um, what if I see drink water I forgot yesterday, I want to do it now, but it's not possible because uh, it's only the circle available for the actual day. Let's make a new habit. Again, uh, meeting some friends maybe five times a day is a great idea. And yeah, why are there only one circle? Because we have no history of this habit. Uh, that means this is day one from 100 days. We see take some air is really filled and I wanted to use these points I did in the last 100 days and use it for my value. If I click on the circle, it's gone. And if I now go back to my screen, I see, wow, 10% I reached before it was zero and yeah, that's it. It's a great day and now I can go to bed. So yeah, have a nice sleep. And okay, one last thing, go back to the Pomodoro, Pomodoro timer, please. Here we see that the time is counting and if the time is over, we hear a nice signal and then we can start again with the working period. So that's it for now for the app. One or two uh, things I want to add. The first thing, really, really thanks to the trainers, uh, Alex and Liv. You helped and supported us a lot. Thank you very much. And the other thing is, whoever wants to try this app, uh, please contact uh, VBS Coding School. And next week, I can do it for download. Yeah, that's it.
Stefan, please. I want to be the first one who downloads, OK? okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Stefan. <laughs> we have people on stream who said that they got nervous when they saw it's a, it's a to-do list app. <laughs> and that it's so uh, measuring really every detail. <laughs> but it's, it's really cool. Super cool idea, honestly. Um, maybe there are companies on stream or even in the audience, like in 2019, 2020, there was one topic rising up, also when it's about personal development, professional development, and this is mindfulness. And we have a very mindful student with us, and I'm really looking forward to see the project. Miguel. Thank you, Tim. Hello, hello. So I can hear myself, I can, so I can imagine you can hear me as well. So. So good evening, everyone. Um, my name is Miguel. Um, before we jump into the product, I would like to talk a little bit about myself and the why I initiate this now open source um, website product, however you want to call it. So uh, I was born in this uh, country called Venezuela and um, grew up with two different cultures and then happened to travel and live in a third country and then to a fourth country and then afterwards and land here in Germany and being very happy for the last 11 years now. So I am feel very, very comfortable here. Um, so after, uh, or uh, me and while on this journey, uh, after working as a cell guy, as a translator, or also working as an electrical engineer with electrical machines and creating this very complex uh, things we are humans are now able to create. So I realized that um, there was something that I was missing. It was very, you know, computers and all these wonderful things. And there's something missing in, in this internal of my mind, or I didn't know what was my mind, or awareness, or consciousness, all these topics now are trendy in, in this Western civilization. So um, I start to explore. I start to to see something uh, in 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 another countries and other cultures as well. So I got answers to my questions until I finally realized that it was really easy to implement ancient techniques, um, and there was also people willing to teach you how to you know just um, meditate, how to relax, how to uh, get comfortable with yourself while, walk, uh, while working and walking as well, because we sit nowadays too much uh, during the day. And yeah, so um, as part of this, I realize now that my passion is somewhere in the middle of creation of a product uh, with technology, but using this uh, internal mindset. So Samadhi is, uh, was born now, um, is now online, deployed somewhere in a data center. <laughs> so maybe we can get started. So uh, basically it's a very simple platform where you can learn how to meditate. And the goal is that you can implement meditation in your daily life so you can relax and just get very co uh, comfortable with your daily uh, work, with your daily routine, with uh, your company, with your colleagues, with your family, with your friends. So for now, we have three different paths. And today, we are focused on the beginner. So we can get started. So the beginner would teach you, for instance, uh, how to increase the focus, how to decrease the undesired emotions that we all have, and how to achieve deeper sense of realization and to promote the feeling of joy. So um, yeah, if you think there is something for you and you feel like you want to explore a little bit more, then maybe we can go to the course and show you. So um, for now, Samadhi, it's using videos 
to allow you uh, to get the education, to get the knowledge. So um, a teacher, it's um, also part of this new education movement that is going on um, in basically the whole world, the whole planet. And, and so you will sit in your place and, you know, just play, pause, make some thinking, then go and see what the course content is, and at some point you will probably have some questions. So you will be able to interact with the community if you wish. So if, for instance, um, the first question happened to be, uh, maybe, is it free? So maybe we can click on the search button. Oh, you're not the only one. There it is. Somebody else also had this question. So yeah, somebody else um, said, yeah, education is for free. Um, if you feel like, you can also add your answer and share with the community. It's very simple. So if you think it's great, maybe we can, you can write, it's great. So you, you're, you can see your answer right away. So if we go back to questions and answers, and for instance, you want uh, to ask a question who is not on the search menu, you can just maybe write it down if you feel like to. So for now, uh, a very important point I haven't mentioned already is that Samadhi is an open source tool, which means um, that uh, everybody can join for now and share if you are willing to as a developer or as a teacher, for instance. And another thing is that since data is, has become a currency nowadays, so you are not asked to supply any personal data at all. So you just get into the page, and you can try uh, go to the point and start. OK, um, one more thing. So for those seekers, for those people looking for these hidden things, um, also called Easter eggs, we have something for you as well. Um, this is um, a source of, some sort of bonus. So. If you would like to um, experiment um, and put in practice what you have learned, so that all you have to do is go to your um, URL. Uh, URL means Uniform Restore Locator for those people who doesn't know it. So you type bonus on it, and voila. So today is we are in Berlin. It's very hot, and it's a little bit 31 degrees here. So um, Let's go for a rainy um, setup so we can just cool down a little bit. And maybe we can um, set up for, let's say, 10 minutes. And I will kindly ask you, everybody, so you guys are uh, online as well as offline, for just 15 seconds, just one, five seconds, to close your eyes and hear to this uh, sound and just just relax okay it's time 
So I hope you could enjoy it and relax a little bit. And at this point, I just want, I just want to say thank you very much. I'm very happy to be part of this program, to be here right now. And just have a good evening and Tim. Here I am <laughs> with a nice certification. You deserve it, Miguel. Thank you so much. Last but not least, and I think we can all relate to this. Who of you was sitting in a subway and you wanted to watch a video and then you had no internet anymore? So you couldn't, you could, you couldn't continue watching. And finally, there's a solution for this. <laughs> Donald. Thank you, Tim. Hello, everybody. My name is Donald and I was born in Albania, and like uh, Mige, I also lived in many other countries and done a lot of different jobs. Uh, I grew up in Italy, and I lived in US, in England. Yes, and I've always wanted to be a web and app developer, and I also have a passion with, for cybersecurity. And, but I never really had the opportunity to, to study up in web development, and there's a saying which says, when a door closes, even a bigger door opens. And actually, at the time of when Corona started and the world froze, a door closed for me, and this door opened. So I started a uh, web and app development, and that was the best deci decision of my life. So. TuneMe is the application that I wanted to always create since I was <laughs> young, very <laughs> much, much younger. <laughs> and yeah, um, who of you likes music? I do very much. And if you think of it, there's many people who they experience more feelings from visual things. So maybe some people look at the um, at the sunset and they get goosebumps. Instead, I get goosebumps if I hear a piece of very good music. And this is why I always have headphones with me all the time, always listening to music. And I really hate the fact that I cannot listen to music yeah, when I do not have internet if I didn't beforehand download the, uh, the, um, the song and imported it, imported it on, my, um, on my device. So this is why I created this, uh, this application. Now we have, it's a very straightforward, uh, straightforward application. We can see there's a search field. And if we search for a song, let's say, hey ho, let's go, Ramones. We all know that song. <laughs> and then we click on the search button. Then we will have, we will see the same list of songs that we would actually see if we typed in on YouTube, because it is actually fetching videos from YouTube. And if we want to, we can choose any song we like, um, like that one, for example, then another screen opens and the song starts Now let's say that we'll have to do something you, our first you, album like song, take it. you want to download it. There's a download button there, right there which you can actually, uh, if you don't like, if you don't like it there, you can move it around, place it wherever you want. And then when you're ready, you can click on it. And once you click on it, it starts downloading. And after it has done downloading, um, we receive a notification, an animation which says, oh, downloading is complete. So, so we can go now on the last page, and last screen, and we will see there's a song from Rammstein, which I downloaded, I downloaded it beforehand, because <laughs> I like Rammstein as well. So now I have these uh, videos downloaded for me, and whenever I want to listen to this music again, I can do it. When I'm on a plane, I can do it. I don't have to 
Uh, I, I don't have to be at home with my laptop download this song and do this on my phone. Also, it's something that unfortunately I cannot show you because of this simulator, but you can listen to the music also when the, um, on the, with, the with the background. Um, so when the phone is, the screen is off, the song still plays. <laughs> you don't have to keep <laughs> your screen constantly open. Now we can go back on the initial page if you want. Now there's a, um, uh, at the top right corner, there's a button which you probably noticed and everybody knows what it does. It's very uh, straightforward. <laughs> it just changes the uh, light and dark mode. Sometimes we feel like being angels, sometimes we feel like being devils. <laughs> And yeah, that is my up tune me. Thank you. Donald, what a great last project. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Bro. Thank you. Great. Nice. What an ending. Super cool. I really loved all the things we could see today. It's always, I mentioned at the beginning, it's always so cool to see what you with no technological background or no coding background can achieve in only 15 weeks and really bring something, some one idea to life that people can really use and where you really could all could put all your knowledge into practice. Awesome, really, I think you all deserve the big applause again. Super cool. For everyone on stream, um, super important or super relevant information. If you would like to get in touch with one of these smart people, please reach out to us. You can reach us by info at wbscodingschool.com. We are so happy to put you in touch with all of them. You can get access to their projects. Of course, you can get access to their profiles. Super happy uh, when you're reaching out afterwards. We on campus now, we will have a very nice after party. So if you would like to experience this, also, people on stream, unfortunately, you cannot participate. But if you want to experience this in the future, join us on campus. We have the final demos every month, and we will be back in around about four weeks, same time. So tune in again. Bye.